Greetings from the past, my fellow time travelers. We are about to start our new day and it's raining. That means we don't need to water our crops and we can do some stuff. That means we can collect more for our community center and so on. So look forward to that. By the way, here's a little tip of mine. Don't chop down every single tree you have on the farm. Keep at least one per tree because you would reg regret it. They take ages to grow back and you can put on tapas later on and also it's better to have them. You can collect seeds from them if you go there and just shake them. Sometimes they drop seeds and sometimes they don't. So really keep them for yourself. Also a good tip, I noticed yesterday, please if you are low on energy, never, 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 never run around the town and have a tool in your hand because every single hit you make with it it costs you an energy and sometimes that leads to exhaustion and if you are exhausted you are damn slow and if you're unlucky you're going to pass out right away and that's something you should try to avoid really try to avoid it it's better and also don't pull an all-nighter if you are past 12 go to bed because I think if you're going to bed after 12 your energy is low lower than normal on the next day I don't know right away because it's ages since I did that because I'm already done with my daily routine before 12 most of the time at least with my little time freeze mod as you know so it's just some little advices from Someone who played Sado Valley a lot. And I think if I look at my stuff, we need to go and farm some stones in the mine. If I didn't clear my farm up. So yeah. And another tip is never cut the grass at the beginning. Let it grow until you get a silo and then you can turn it into hay, which is your food for, for your animals later on. And food is really expensive in this game. I think at the beginning it, it was more expensive than it is now. I think Consum Ape fixed this because a lot of people complained about that hay is... I think hay was more expensive than the products you've got from your animals. Like eggs were cheaper if you sell them than your actual hay you need to feed your... well, animals and chickens and so on. So keep that in mind. And also, I recommend you never build a coop or some sort before you have a silo. It gets way too expensive in the long run, and that's why I'm focusing on different things in the first year than my animals. And we need to go into the mine to farm some stuff, because we need stones. And that also means that I'm going to go there for a little bit longer and waste my whole energy in there or at least some of the energy because I try to do a quest for the adventure guild and so on and that's going to be exciting so let's go down the mine the first few well levels aren't that big of a deal and also there's a little tip don't try to mine when you're when you have an unlucky day. I didn't look up which day we have. Wait. It's neutral. The day is in your hands. No, it's not that good, but also not that bad. I mean, we are here to mostly farm stones for our community center, so that shouldn't be the problem. And of course, I take every ore I get with me. But I try to finish this level before our energy runs low. Also, these grey stones are dropping more stones than usual. So if you want to really farm stones, just pick those to go further or at least trying to go further. Oi, copper, stay there. And I see some quartz. And there's a ladder. Also, those slimes are mean. They can slow you down and if that happens on later levels you can die pretty easily. So try to avoid that. Oh, die already. I'm not used to green slimes. The oh, there is a stone crab underneath 
here. Come at me, bro. I know you're in there. Don't mess around with me. And we found some hardwood. That's actually pretty handy. And some amethysts. We can donate every little ore we found. No, not the ore, but those things here, those minerals, to Gunther so we can collect some more stuff. And we really, we really need that. Because it helps us out in the long, long runs. We get some seeds from him, so we should use those for our advantage. Also, with this copper ore, we can upgrade our weapons and tools by Clint. Oh, yeah, from Clint, and that will help us out a lot. I'm not going to upgrade my watering can soon because you should do that if you are. If you know that the next day is a rainy day or if you are in the winter because you need your watering can ev every day so it would be a waste if you miss to water your crops one day so just keep that in mind and it would be nice if a ladder spawned soon because we are low on energy and the next one should be a safe zone so please give me some luck. I'm starting to get exhausted and who Oh my I really thought that wouldn't be enough. I try to go back to the mine soon because we need some more stones, eight to be precise. And we will see each other when I go down to Gunther. Deeper into the mine. But wait. No, we can't be part of the Adventure Guild. I think we're missing a letter, yeah. We should get a letter soon from them where they invite us to kill some slimes, I guess, was it? And then we can be a part of the membership in our little Adventure Guild. Also, like I told you before, don't walk around with a tool in your hands because this dead can lead to, could lead to exhaustion. But you can use your sword or your scythe because those don't wa waste energy, luckily. So rather pick one of them or some items you want to use or some free slots you have. And when we're here we're going to donate. Here you have some topaz and some amethyst and some quartz. It's getting more and more. And what do we get? Some cauliflower seeds. We can use those. They take 12 days. I don't know when we planted Hours, but I'm going to plant them right away when we go back to our farm because I think it wouldn't be ready otherwise So what are our little collections telling us about the new stuff we donated? Amethyst, a purple variant of quartz. Topaz, fairly common but still prized for its beauty. Quartz, a clear crystal commonly found in caves and mines. Nice! So I go back to our little house and there we should find some stuff I should break up the guild right away if we're in the cleanse. So let's do this. Uh, I didn't want to block. I just wanted to talk to him and break up our geode. So, and we got something else to donate. That's nice. A jamborite. So let's see what Gunther has to tell us about that little thing. Donate to museum. Here you are. Okay, we don't get any rewards, but that's fine with me. Chamberite. The crystals are so tightly packed it almost looks fuzzy. Oh. Okay, dokey. That should be awesome. There are ev everywhere daffodils. I don't mind daffodils to be there, but that's surprising. Also, our little boy Vincent has birthday tomorrow, so I'm going to give him with a daffodil because he likes it so his heart should also pop up a bit more than usual and Penny is out in the rain reading I mean why not if you like it I mean I love rain in the summer it's just perfect but I wouldn't go out and read I mean if she stays dry Maybe I can do this, but I don't think so in reality. And there are some worms. And we found the last book. Nice. 
I'm going to read that in any minute. Oh, and there are worms again! And it's clay. I can't pick it up right now, but I'm coming back later to get it. So here we are at the community center and we're going to give our little Unimos or Junimos or whatever Mujumbo some presents here and here. That means we only miss the hardwood part and that should be easier to get. And I think that's everything we can do here. I try to get the fish snacks maybe, but we'll see. So we finished this day finally. And we're going to bed and did we level Yay! Living level level, 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 <laughs> level one mining plus one pickaxe proficiency new crafting recipe at cherry bomb. Yeah. I hope we can craft a cherry bomb soon. I don't know what ingredients you need though. I look it up quickly. Let's see, what do we need for a cherry bomb? We need four copper ore and one coal. Ah, uh, yeah, well, I'm going to craft that because we need a cherry bomb for some little secret. And we are going to discover this in the next episode. So, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the future. Bye!